Well, looks like I finally did it. 3,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping me reach this milestone. I could have never done it without all of you guys subscribing, commenting, and obviously hitting that thumbs up to help YouTube's algorithm. It has been a crazy year so far, and uh, well, you gotta count your blessings. And one of the blessings was, is that the Market Mover videos have done very well. And it's just something that, you know, I just would have never thought because when I first made this channel almost four years ago, I would just up upload videos at random. I didn't have a set schedule. I just kind of, whenever I felt like uploading something, I would just throw it on the channel. I tried to create a couple series before like throwback booster pack Thursdays, where I'd open up a booster pack from something that's not in standard, so an older set. And then, you know, obviously the goal was if people really like the content, it would allow me to get more expensive packs, you know, maybe eventually once I was monetized, I could make some of that money back and then use that revenue to purchase more older products. And that kind of never really panned out, so I just kind of kept experimenting here and there. And then I just kind of started making the market movers and, and it's been a blessing ever since. And I've obviously done the random buys and the thrift store videos even before that, but those were, they did well, but, you can't really always depend on, you know, making content like that because, you know, with the lockdown, some of these thrift stores in Toronto where I live, they'll be closed down for months on end. So I really had to look for alternatives. So I do eBay every once in a while, but that will get expensive. Obviously a good alternative is the thrift store. That's actually one of the reasons why I started making those videos. And anyways, uh, I wanted to announce something after I go through a few comments just because, you know, why not reach a milestone, you know, go and read some of the comments on YouTube for everyone to see. Is this an hour of him going through junk comments? Ha 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 Well, you'd be wrong actually. No, you'd be wrong. It was 53 minutes of me going through junk comments. There was about a minute or so where I did get a good card over 50. Goodwill auction site is loaded with idiots who have a lot more money than brains. Paying in general more than double of your estimated perceived value of the lot. Well, you might be right, and I might have been one of those fools. If you actually watch Tragic MTG's videos and where he opens up Goodwill lots, he does very well sometimes. So that might prove you wrong, but obviously it's a gamble and I know it's a gamble. And I don't recommend people going and, and buying, you know, random lots for hundred plus, two hundred dollars, sometimes almost a thousand for some of these lots. I haven't paid that much for any of them, but uh, yeah, it's obviously a gamble and that's one of the type of videos I like to do on this channel, hopefully to entertain people. Sliver Legion does not give other slivers plus one, plus one counters. Do you even play magic? <laughs> what? <laughs> do, I, <laughs> do I even play magic? Not in 2020. Sorry, man, but you have no idea how the MTG market works. Well, actually, that's a good time for me to plug. So I got the uh, Market Mover videos. They're going to be released uh, Monday to Friday. Actually, what he's referring to is a video that I made called I'm officially done with MTG Finance, which is actually satirical. A lot of people didn't know it was satirical, where I said I bought a thousand jeweled lotuses and I lost all this money right away after the pre-release pricing tanked. <laughs> Completely satirical. I obviously would never do something like that. And I, I suggest you guys do the same. Don't buy cards unless you just want one copy that you're really anxious to grab for a deck. Do not spec on pre-release pricing. Wait for those cards to bottom out because every time a set gets released, a lot of packs get open. And then it's like a race to the bottom to see who, you know, who gets the lowest price on their buy list. And so please, yeah, do not do that. Do not do what I was jokingly suggesting I did in that satirical video. Now is actually a good time for me to tell you all that I have created a Patreon account. There was a few comments that I had in, in a couple videos lately that were mentioning the Patreon account. It was something that I thought about doing in the future, but I didn't think about ever consider making it this early, but I thought why not just give it a go and uh, there's some more details right here. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining and with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.